first thing is trying to develop an industry that can achieve scale and inclusiveness. And right now, all of the discussions are about the same issues that are affecting the market and each of the banks are not really doing anything to change it. So one of the things that we, Thomson Reuters, are doing with another institution is trying to change the paradigm, ultimately, completely. And that's by encouraging financial services innovation in ethic, but that's ethically based. So ethical financial services innovation. How are we doing this? We're going to be rewarding um, innovation somewhere between you know, $100,000 to participants, candidates, who can submit ideas for you know, new, new ways of inter financial intermediation that can facilitate uh, the growth of the Islamic finance sector that is ethically based and that affects the society in which they live in. So it's moving beyond just you know just banking for you know big construction projects or big projects to actually addressing the masses. I think what's really missing from our from our industry is that we, we keep on talking about the same issues, but no one ever does anything about it. And following on from this, we're we're looking to launch with another institution a fund that uh, and and a um, and a transaction portal that facilitates investment from Islamic wealth and Islamic capital or Sharia sensitive capital to Muslim entrepreneurs all over the Muslim world but on a micro basis. So facilitating direct investment as it should be um, through Islamic financial methods. And what this will do is break down some of those barriers of intermediation that exists now that you have to go through a bank. It will break down the barrier of a bank and you'll be going directly from a from the people who have capital to those who need it through something like crowdsourcing which I'm sure, which I'm sure you've heard of so crowdsourcing for Islamic finance this is I believe where we can really address the needs of the masses both in terms of their access to capital but also in terms of their desire to invest in something that's real something that means something to them uh, you know, in terms of real activity and enterprise that they can see the effect of. So I'm sure you've heard of solutions such as Kiva, um, which is an online microfinance site. We want to do something like that, but facilitating investment into entrepreneurs. Uh, we think it, we need a paradigm change. I think we've talked enough. Now it's time to do something really that changes the industry's landscape. And we believe the future is in technology and internet. Yeah. Breaking down the barriers. Yes, that's our objective. So we want to break down the barrier of finance being only through the banking sector, which, number one, is expensive and is not accessible to the unbankable masses. Uh, and like Yunus did for microfinance, we want to do that for Islamic finance, uh, but with a social goal in mind. So the businesses should have some ethical uh, approach to their businesses.